Just going to give you a look at what this house looks like finished. It's come up very nice. And we've got the, um, the toilet, a couple of cupboards there. All those doors are painted inside and out. All that brickwork's painted behind the toilet. Come up the tree. Um, this is the sunroom. I'll just close this as I go. So that's the sunroom. This was all mouldy. So we can't expect this to get mouldy again down the track. I did have a look up in the roof and there are some tiles that don't look real good. There is a tile missing here. I looked up in the roof, tried to find tiles. No tiles up there. There are tiles, but they're the old ones that were here originally. So this is the kitchen. Bit of grease and stuff on things. The um, tenant didn't do a real good job of cleaning. So walking down the hallway. Quite nice. And come into the bathroom. Those. A good painter always cleans the aircon vents, uh, any light shades or anything like that. Some light bulbs aren't working. There's only so that's everything that's working. So there's two not working. Exhaust fan was completely clogged up. That's been cleaned up. G'day. Uh, towel rack has been um, it's missing I would have put it back on but it's actually missing those ones aren't real good either so this is another room now there's some tracks uh, broken down here or missing so I need some work on those tracks probably a couple more wheels to fit that all the stoppers there were a couple of stoppers missing I've actually bought some new ones and fitted them So we'll come up into this bedroom. I can't think of anything that was wrong here. A bit of water leaks in on the uh, window sills. It's all been picked back, gapped this edge here to stop any moisture coming in. I think these roller tracks, there are a couple of roller tracks that are buggered, not so good. The carpet obviously needs work, but if you were to rent it out, you could probably get away with it. The sill here was very, very dodgy. It's good. So that'll have to all be picked back and plastered. Uh, I'll be using a probably an oil-based undercoat on that to sort that out. Uh, and I've run gaps along to stop moisture coming in. If you just sell it, maybe you could get away with it as well. People just think they've got to put another put carpet in it and they take it accordingly. So I'm going to try and get them down in price anyhow. The aircon was completely clogged up, so I've taken the, um, the vents out on that and um, cleaned that. So that's all done. I've painted the outside of this door. Now this door was actually hitting, so I've taken the door off and moved it over so it doesn't hit. I'm just going to lock that now. The weather seal works fine. So that's locked. Make sure all the lights are off. So that's it. This actually I'll take you into this other room up here. It had the lot of water in on this this um this room here in the corner there was the one that had the rotten plaster in that's all been replaced. I'm taking these hinges off um, because they're being all painted over and I'm going to throw them away and put new ones in. But you wouldn't believe what I'm coming across. I just can't believe it. Uh, these are actually flat screws and um, here, in here, are security screws which is this one here. But there's so much paint in there I can't even get it in so I'm hitting it with a hammer. I'm getting out the best I can. Uh, when I can't get it out, I'm doing this. So, this is what I have to do to get the bloody hinges off. Um, everything else was pretty good. OK, 
can't think of any other issues. Cupboards are all good. There was a major gap on between the cornice and the cupboard there. Well, I've actually filled that and painted it in wall color. So that looks a whole lot better, but I will give it a go. I've got a lot of damage on these ceilings, hey? Look at that. Sometimes I have to keep on breathing in My lungs are filled with too much pain All the shadows of the past that I'm so leaving They help me in my sleepless nights And I'm running in the noise like a free fall um. It's a one coat on the walls, but I'm not gonna be able to do that on a lot of it because there is some damage on the areas. Uh, you know, like this here, it's, it's pretty um, pretty well damaged. Um, there's a few few sections, because I had their furniture and everything in, you can't see these things. There's some cracking and stuff like that. Um, there is some uh, peeling ceiling happening here, so I don't know what's gonna happen when I throw a roller over that. We'll see what happens. All that'll be fixed up. Anything on the walls will be taken off. As you can see uh, from this angle here, you can see the plaster patches there. Not so bad. Um, this is just the lounge room. They painted over the hinges. God, I hate that. I really, really hate that. You know, we've got some plaster patches that they've done uh, here as well. We've obviously got a water leak outside there. It's coming through. Um, this room does smell a little bit. We've got some damage in some corner here. I would say that could be water. A um, bit of rot there, look. So I'll have to pick that back and have a look at see what's causing that. That's actually rotten in there. Uh, and we've got some, obviously some movement up here. Uh, some ceiling starting to pop. So it might be something that really needs to be looked at a bit harder. So this ceiling here looks pretty dodgy actually. Going out. Oh, this room here has lots of plaster patches. A lot of cracks there happening. Uh, a lot of moisture in this house. I can see that um, ceiling has a mold over it. Not too bad, but it has a mold. So I bet you this tiled roof on this place here. Um, I would bet my bloody bottom dollar on it. Some holes there. Toowoomba is a very uh, wet place anyhow. Um, so, yeah. So, I like doing these jobs. You know, that'll be liquid nailed and fixed. I'm leaving the window frames till last. Uh, so I'm gonna actually finish all the walls. And I'm gonna be painting this back edge in wall paint. Uh, and then bringing the uh, side around, the front around in the white. Um, all the doors are finished. I've painted the back edge of the doors frames in um, white. So all them are finished. And then I'll just be cutting my wall color in around there just going around with the walls giving them a pole sand see a bit of crap on there that's the acrylic paint not sanding properly I'm using a, um, a one, um, 120 grit sandpaper on these walls because I should have most of these walls finished today so I finished all in here I've done the um, just done the door frame as you can see there it's got the white trim uh, this never had gloss skirtings in it I've still got that door frame there, for example. Um, but that's all finished in here. I'm sort of finishing as I go, putting all the handrails, all the um, PowerPoint things back in. I've still got this hallway bedroom here. And we've got a big um, hole that was in here. So I've been um, just sanded that, got that ready. I've got some uh, pretty bad uh, plaster patches along there. They'll need fixing. I had a bubble of paint come through, um, a, a cracking of paint that I didn't see. So that's got to be um, repainted. So that's all being picked back. I've also got another one up in here. 
that I'm not happy with as you can see in the corner there so that'll have to be picked out and plastered as well and maybe I should do that now all these have um, all this is finished got an expansion joint that's been put in there so that's our white frames finished as you can see it's all nice this had a shelf on here which looked pretty ugly um, and you could catch on it as you're coming past so out here we've got the door sliders now this door slider was broken so I've actually had to fix it um, so that's all good all the screws were buggered in the house I'm, I'm seriously they were absolutely buggered all the hinges were painted over all the hinges were painted over looked bloody terrible now by doing this back edge in white um, I did actually give myself extra work and I had to do two coats down on the side there this brick was a pain in the ass it all had to be done by brush um, and I pulled out a little roller as well and we also have another wall in here that was brick uh, in this bathroom so that's what it's finished like a little touch up down there to do we've got another area out here this was all mouldy had to be all washed down we've had some uh, peeling paint in the carport here quite bad the paint we're using is a Dulux wash and wear super hide and the colour that we're using is called pistachio tang half our gloss enamel is a water-based gloss enamel which is a Berger Gold label door and trim and that's done in Lexicon quarter. Screws have all been ripped out and they've all been replaced with new hinges. Now the hinges uh, at, the, at the, uh, the store were about $40 so really is it worthwhile washing all those other hinges? Um, no it's not just buy new hinges the owner's quite happy to pay for new hinges and as you can see it just makes it look so much nicer um, yeah so much nicer